Hello students, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine at home. Today students, we will start a new chapter. Our new chapter is chapter number 30 that is photosynthesis in higher plants which is under class 11 subject biology. And the topic which I am going to teach you from this chapter is Where does photosynthesis take place? Now students, we all know that Photosynthesis takes place mainly in the chloroplasts of the green leaves So, photosynthesis takes place mainly in the Chloroplasts or chloroplastids of the green leaves. Chloroplasts are a type of plastids present in plant cells. The mesophyll cells in the leaves have a large number of chloroplasts. The mesophyll cells in the leaves have a large number of chloroplasts. So a type of cells called mesophyll cells in the leaves have a large number of chloroplasts. Usually the chloroplasts align themselves along the walls of the mesophyll cells. So usually the chloroplasts align themselves, that means they arrange themselves along the walls of the mesophyll cells of the leaves such that they get the optimum quantity of the incident light. They arrange themselves like that so that they can receive the optimum quantity that is the maximum, the ultimate quantity what, uh, that is required by the leaves so that they get the optimum quantity of the incident light because light is required for photosynthesis. Now students, I will show you some pictures and I will explain the pictures. So now we will learn in detail about the mesophyll cells and the chloroplast which is the main site of photosynthesis. This diagram shows the mesophyll cells in the leaves. Students, you can observe the labelings palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. Mesophyll cells are a type of ground tissue found in the plant's leaves. There are two types of mesophyll cells, palisade mesophyll cells and spongy mesophyll cells as you can see in the diagram. The most important role of the mesophyll cells is in photosynthesis. Now students we will learn about the chloroplast. This diagram shows an electron micrograph of a section of chloroplast. Within the chloroplast there is membranous system consisting of grana. Grana or granum as you can see in the picture are stack of thylakoids which are disc like structures which are interconnected with each other by the stromal lamella. So the disc like structures called thylakoids you can see the disc like structures together form the Grana. There is also the stromal lamellae connecting the grana. And you can also see the labeling the matrix stroma. It is the aqueous fluid. There is a clear division of labor within the chloroplast. You can see there is an outer membrane, there is an inner membrane. Stromal lamella, grana, stroma, 
ribosomes, starch granule and lipid droplet. The membrane system in the chloroplast is responsible for trapping the light energy and also for the synthesis of ATP and NADPH. In stroma, enzymatic reactions synthesize sugar which, is, which in turn forms starch. The former set of reactions since they are directly light driven are called light reactions or photochemical reactions. The latter are not directly not directly light driven but are dependent on the products of light reactions that is ATP and NADPH. Hence to distinguish the latter they are called by convention as dark reactions or carbon reactions. However, this should not be cons construed to mean that they occur in darkness or that they are not light dependent. So students, this is all about today's topic that is where does photosynthesis take place? It takes place in the chloroplast of the leaves. So I hope you have understood today's topic properly. So study properly at home, keep watching the videos and take care of yourself. Thank you.